Hi, I'm Jan Doyle. Welcome to Wise Talk. Today's guests are absolutely incredible. They're talented, creative, and they have a lot to talk about on today's show. I'd like to welcome Terry Donati, who is co-chair of the Quilt Show for the Charlotte Quilters Guild, mm -hmm. and Mary Levine, who is the chair of the Raffle Quilts. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so happy to have you here, and it was a lot of fun before the show just looking at the quilts on the tables because they're really, really terrific. Mm -hmm. But Terry, let's just get started with you. What is the quilt show all about? Quilt show is um, something we do about every two years, and it's the best part of it is, is showcasing, exhibiting the work of the guild members. I'm working with Sandy Capetta as a co-chair, and we have a great group of women who are all our committee chairs. Mary being one of them, and we've been working hard to get the show together. Yes, I, and, and you brought in a wonderful example of some quilts. Now, where does the money from the quilt show go? Well, this is our fundraiser. So it's where we get the money to pay our rent and to um, do all the things that we do as far as our outreach programs considered. Um, we also do um, some donations to the New England Quilt Museum, and this is where the money, money is going towards. Now, when you talk towards. about outreach to some of the other um, mm -hmm. organizations, I have over okay. here some something that we call a fidget quilt. Yeah. Could you explain to this what this means? Well, one of the things we, we do is to try to reach out to the community by providing quilting things with our using our talents. And this is a fidget quilt, and w this would be given to a patient who is has maybe dementia or Alzheimer's, and it keeps their hands busy. It's a lot of different textures, yeah, things to manipulate, that. zippers to zippers to open up and shut. And there's sometimes there's buttons on it or elastics, different things for them to manipulate with their hands. And what does that do for them? Uh, gives them something to focus on, especially Alzheimer's and dementia patients. It's calming. Have, it's very yeah. calming, and they, mm -hmm. especially towards the end of the day, they could go through the, uh, things called sundowning, and, and they get very agitated, mm -hmm. and this is one way that it helps them to calm down by the different textures. There's velvets Velvet. and, right, and, and I colors. Love, yeah. I love the ingenious use of the old um, yeah. spools. Yeah. Well, yeah. I tend to just throw them out. You have. Um, yep, so some flannel. This some one's flannels. got a little bit of printing to it that feels different. There's a little applique teddy bear. So there's a lot of different things that they can do, even if they just take and fold it and unfold and it. Unfold and fold it and our, unfold our chairperson it. of the community uh, quilting, what she does is make packets. And she puts all different things in the packets. And yeah. then each member or we'll take one or yeah, two, two or yeah. however yes, they want to do and put them together. Yeah. And yeah. this is a wonderful way of um, reaching out to the community that you were yes. talking about yeah. earlier. And actually, you reminded me, Mary, I have one at home right now that needs to be done. <laughs> but don't tell anybody. <laughs> now, this one is uh, a lot smaller. Well, who, right. who do you give this to? This is to? a NICU quilt. We what is NICU? Mean? NICU is the neonatal intensive care units. Mm -hmm. And we send them both to UConn and to Yale. And they can have different sizes. Sometimes they need this about 15 inches. This is a little bit longer. Sometimes they, they put it right over the little isolettes because not so much on the babies at this point. But an idea to, to just colorful and make it look a little bit different than just the sterile hospital situation. And the different programs, the different community outreach right. places will give us specific um, measurements no. for what they wanted for specific people, like maybe teenagers, uh, elderly right. men, women, uh, wheelchairs, so that we get very specific dimensions on what they need. Right. Yeah, that's right. that's an interesting point that you make, mm -hmm. Mary. Now, and this one is this is a bigger dress. one. This is more of a lap size quilt. It's made out of flannels, so it's a very soft and cozy thing. We also provide the Smilo Cancer Unit mm -hmm. uh, at Yale, and spe specifically the Pediatric Unit. So we've had a whole bunch of quilts that we've done recently for specifically for the pediatric cancer patients. Uh, teenagers, we're kind of focusing on we, the teenagers. We have um, some wonderful people who donate their time, mm -hmm. and so some of the funds from our Quilt Guild uh, show goes to providing funds for members to donate these kinds of uh, right for mm -hmm. for batting and fabric or machine quilting or whatever needed to be you know provided for the quilts themselves. right and and they're much appreciated they're yes they very, very much, much so appreciated are. yes I will absolutely. go home and start sewing tonight <laughs> um, and speakers we get and speakers uh, we and often programs. get speakers in to teach right. us 
what we need to learn to make the quilts that we yeah. need to make or the different uh, genres that, that are yeah. going on. Yeah. So uh, often the money will be sometimes will mm -hmm. be spent on that. Right. Very interesting. And you let's just go into something about you learn about different techniques. I understand you have something called the witch's quilt over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Terry's quilt. Yeah. And uh, basically, mm -hmm. what she did was color it in with regular crayons. The crayons you buy at, you know, Crayola, the, crayons. Crayola, crayons. Crayola, Crayola crayons. crayons. Every kid has Crayola Every, crayons. Yep. And tell them what you yeah. did, Terry. Well, this is a, actually a part of a bigger pattern from Crabapple Hill mm. um, that is a design for three panels of witches, which Mary actually has, and we're going to show in a second. But I didn't want to do that much. <laughs> so I chose just three of the witches and made a small version of the quilt itself. Mm. And I understand, did you hand quilt this? I did. So you would trace the design, color it, and heat set it, and then I embroidered and then added embellishments and then hand quilted the whole piece. Well, this certainly mm -hmm. kept you out of trouble. It I did. love the border. I yeah. love Thank the you. border. Yeah, did you just random cut or did you have it specific? It's actually a Karen Eckmeyer technique. It's it's you take your rotary cutter and cut a just kind of a smooth curve and press it down and then just keep layering them one on top of the other, which is what I did. Ah. Oh. So it gives it, it gives it a little dimension because it's got a seam, but it's not even, which I th thought went with the witches. It, it does. <laughs> but before we show the other quilt, I want to just talk a little bit about, you mentioned what goes into making uh, a quilt. To making a quilt. Well, you start out with a quilt square that you put together with a whole bunch of other quilt squares mm -hmm. until you have a quilt top. And then you're going to layer it with batting. It could be cotton or polyester. I'm just going to have you hold it up oh, for the monitor. Sorry. Okay. So you start with oh, a I'll, square. I'll hold it okay, for you. There we go. So you. This is. So the, that's a square. A square. Right. Or pretend it's a whole quilt. Okay. And then you put the batting, batting on next. Okay. Underneath it. Okay. And then there's a backing fabric. Okay. Well, that seems so reasonable. So it's three different layers. And yeah. that's what gives it its warmth. Do all pieces have to have the batting, or can you leave them out? There are some quilts that don't put batting. If you have a summer quilt, uh, which is essentially just a top and a bottom, and then to, for lightweight summer use. Yes. But most mm -hmm. of them do have some kind of batting in mm -hmm. between. It gives it stability. It gives it some form. It shows off the quilting. That's a good point. So, so now, this was your quilt that yes. you colored, yep. and this is Mary's. Mary's is significantly mm -hmm. bigger. Yes, which yeah. is why I did not want to do the whole thing. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Again, this was three panels that Terry took just three witches out of. Look, can we hold it? Now, when you say she took out three witches, what did that involve? She, uh, she cut them out, or I traced them. You I traced, traced them, them. On, back, on the fabric I wanted mm. for the background. I think I chose the first two, and then this one because I like the pumpkin. And then just did those when I traced them out. Well, Mary had to trace all of them, yes. colored them all in, <laughs> embroidered them all, and there's three, three panels of them. So let me just hold it up yeah. for the monitor a little bit. <laughs> so this one, you Ooh. colored it. Now that must have been fun okay. to color. It, well, yes. my father taught me how to color. He taught What's me how the to trick? color. What's the trick? He taught me how to color in the lines. He taught me how to shade, yeah. how to outline. Uh, so in doing it, just gives me fond memories of them. You did yeah. do what your papa told you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I oh, see yes. some shading. Yeah. Oh, I thought you went out of the... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is really... That's really interesting. And it's also yeah. nice to think about that. Mm -hmm. It yeah. really is. Yeah. And this this is getting ready to go to the quilters. I use a long arm quilter. Many, now explain that. Well, there are many quilters who will hand quilt. And I've done like this, I hand quilted. But um, if I hand quilt, then I can't make another quilt. <laughs> so yeah. right it's now. Long, it takes longer. Yeah. Yes. So right now I'm saying, yeah. OK, I want to make another quilt. So I send it out to a quilter. And what she'll do is use a big long arm machine. She. Uh, Labels, uh, what do you? Layers. 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 She layers, yeah. layers them herself. And all I have to do is bring it. And she's very good because when you're uh, hanging a quilt, you want to use a different kind of batting mm -hmm. inside, something to give it a little bit more stability so it doesn't hang. If you use it on a bed and you want it for warmth, that's another type of batting. So 
I, there's so many different battings, yeah, it's hard for are. me to remember yes, them yeah. all, so I really like going to an yeah. expert who tells me what I'm going to yeah, do with it. You bring up something very interesting. Every quilter loves making the tops. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are called tops, toppers. <laughs> yeah. But not every quilter loves to do the quilting. No. Mm -hmm. It's true. And so, and these long arm machines, I know the average person out there has absolutely no idea that mm -hmm. they can cost 20000 and more. Oh, or yes. more. Yes. Or yes. more. Yes. Yes. I know Absolutely. people that add it onto yeah. their house, too, because we're yes. talking a huge machine. Yeah. And it needs its own room. It needs all its own room. Yeah. <clears throat> so this isn't, so all of you people who play golf and go skiing, <laughs> you've, got, you've got nothing on us. This is really just beautiful. <laughs> um, now, we have it at the uh, Shoreline Quilt Guild, and most people have quilt shows. We have a raffle quilt. And this is a, this raffle quilt is very very special. Why? This raffle yeah. quilt was made by uh, Judy Sikama, who's now in Vermont and a lifetime member of our uh, quilt group. Yes. And she also started the quilt group in 1981. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. So it's, it was very exciting when she made it and then asked us if we wanted it. So we were thrilled. It's a scrappy. Hourglass, hourglass right? quilt, yeah. and it's got over 1,200 pieces in it. Oh my it God! Of now, why is pieces. it called scrappy? Because she's used all different scraps from she got from other people, but also that she had uh, of different quilts that she made, and she just put them together. It's all hand done, and then sent it to a long arm person, and the long arm person was Catherine Solbert. And she quilted it and quilted it so it would be stable because it was hand done. So to make it more stable, she quilted it in a certain way that are all hourglass. It's, it's absolutely she beautiful. She did each individual hourglass. Yes. It's looking yes. like. Yes. yes. Oh, this yeah. wasn't this wasn't run it through the long arm quilter no. and be done. No. There was a lot of work to this. A lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a very the special. The machine is hand guided as opposed yeah. to maybe computer where you set it up on the computer mm -hmm. and the computer tells the machine what to do. Oh. So you can this tell. Is, it's incredible. And I didn't know that about Judy. I took. Um, Judy used to teach at the Brantford High School, mm -hmm. the adult ed, and yes. I took some of her mm -hmm. classes, and, mm -hmm. and I was the, the student who needed the most help, I might add. <laughs> yes. But she is absolutely incredible. Oh, yes. Master, yeah. master quilt. Yes. Absolutely. I'm sorry she yeah. moved away and went to Vermont, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but she's always welcome back, but she's, she's really helping out the guild still. Yes, yeah. absolutely. She, mm -hmm. she keeps in touch with many of the quilt members sends them presents all the time of material or, or whatnot. So it's really a thrill for us to use this as one of our raffle quilts. And usually the raffle quilts um, will bring in, it's part of the budget and it brings mm -hmm. in money for uh, during the show. Right. And other parts of the show would be like the boutique, another part of the show would be demonstrations. Yeah. Now what is the show? Well. The, the show, I'm going to say, first of all, the show, the date, is October 5th and 6th. Where and it, is where is It's going show? to be at the, the Madison Senior Center on Bradley Road, mm -hmm. right in Madison, Connecticut. And there's a real possibility, I understand, yes. that we could have some historical or vintage quilts mm -hmm. there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that would be fantastic from the area. I'm really looking forward yeah. to that. We're hoping to have uh, the Madison Historical Society do a, a bed turning for us. What does that mean, a bed turning? Well, we'll set, you would do it on a bed in theory, but we'll have it on a table. But they're going to stack quilts, um, antique quilts from their collection, and they'd go through them one by one, lifting each quilt up, talking a little bit about the pattern and in whatever information they have about the quilt itself. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That really is wonderful. That's a so it's a it's an opportunity to um, pay, perhaps buy a raffle ticket for a quilt. I would love mm -hmm. it if I won, ladies, I'm just saying. <laughs> to buy a raffle quilt, a ticket for the raffle quilt. But to see all of these other quilts, and let's just go through right. some of these quilts that we have here. Mm. Now, over on, um, let's talk with about the one on the table. I love this quilt. So did my girls. They're fighting over. <laughs> well, um, how old are your daughters? Uh, 51 and 52. Okay, I could take okay. them out. I'm older. I could take them out. I love this quilt. Describe what this quilt is. This is a memory quilt, something like what Terry has, and she's going to mm -hmm. show you her memory quilts, too. But I took a class in... Um, okay, give me crazy, pat crazy patterns. I took a yeah. class in making crazy quilt. But I wanted more than just a crazy quilt. Well, explain crazy quilt. 
Mm -hmm. A crazy quilt is a very old oh. antique tradition. Yeah. And it was usually the very elite that made crazy quilts. Yes, and right. they used velvet yes, and satin. That's and how I remember it. Yes. Yes. Silks, brocades, silks, yeah, brocades. All the, the, all the expensive, their, yes. yes. Left over from their clothing. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So it was, it was the richer enchelant that made quilts. You know, normally quilts were made for survival, mm -hmm. just for warmth, used the leftover material, right. used... You know, the, any shred. I mean, yeah. you talk or about something like this. This is what they made all the time, mm -hmm. just okay. using their leftover pieces. But the very rich didn't need to do that. So they made crazy quilts. And uh, this was a variation of the crazy quilt. You can see the crazy doesn't have just one pattern that puts it in, but all different patterns. Well, I'm just yeah. going to kind of say you take a square mm -hmm. and you cut it into crazy Shapes. Yeah. Odd shapes. Mm -hmm. Odd shapes. Odd shapes. Mm -hmm. And that's how I know it. Yeah. But I noticed you did something different, first of all, mm -hmm. with the color. Yes. Um, my teacher, the Wanda Hamilton, who was teaching the class, used beige colors or light colors. But mainly she wanted to show the stitches, I think, mm -hmm. the different oh. stitches that it had in it. So I chose to do that, as she did. But then I wanted to put a memory quilt in it. And I did something like, um, I started playing with pictures. This is my mom and dad. And I put them as two lovebirds. And they had five children. My mother worked in the bakery her whole life. My father was a Marine. So each piece has something special about How the different. How special is that? Oh, it's, it's just, and it was a thrill making. It was fun. It took a couple of years. That's OK. Pick but out another good. square and talk about it. Like okay. that one that can, they can pick up on the monitor. Um, so. How about my marriage picture? Oh, oh your yes, wedding! My wedding, yes. Okay, and this is up. and what I did was I had all the bouquets mm -hmm. and I copied them from the original bouquet. Oh, on how it. nice! And my mother and father and they had five children and we got married next to a bunch of daisies on the side and <laughs> my father gave me a charm: live, laugh, love. And oh. so I put that as part of it, so I wanted it to be a memory. Um, and these were the grandchildren. This was a piece of my actual netting. From your veil? From my veil. Oh, how yeah. nice. So it, it, was, it was very, very exciting. Well, this, this really is a treasure. It is beautiful. And it's it really a memory a quilt, treasure. Yeah. Now, like, uh, Tam, uh, like uh, Terry has. And we will talk about them in a second, but I just wanted to say, um, in a hundred years, when your children's <laughs> children, children, they're not going to yeah. remember a lot of this. What I was know. Terry's idea to do? <laughs> Terry, which I really liked it. Terry suggested that, um, well, there was, you suggested part of it too, yeah. was take Just a picture of the square and then describe the square, what it meant, but then put it in a pocket in the back of the quilt so that it was staying right with right. the quilt. And they'll always and be together. And all together yes. and attach it yes. so it doesn't get yeah. lost. Yeah. So I thought that was a great idea. Because yeah. one of the biggest problems that people have in vintage or antique quilts and someone's passed away or mm -hmm. moved along and so on, you don't know any of the history. Mm -hmm. And you always and we always want to know the history mm -hmm. of right. it. And the great 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 grandchildren are go want go want to know that's part of your veil, wedding veil. Yes. It's yeah. so precious. Yeah, now, are those is. real uh, pearls? Oh, diamonds, too. There's pearls, yes. there's diamonds. Emeralds. Emeralds, yes. thank you. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, I knew that. And the precious gem. Yes, yes. I knew that. Yes. I want to get on to <laughs> Terry's memory quilt. They're, it's a little bit different. And what I like about uh, Terry's memory, she's used, mm. describe it, Terry, instead of well, me. Well, this is a, a friend of mine lost um, a, a partner, and I used T-shirts and bits of other uh, shirts and also hats. There were a couple of hats now, that I cut the brims out and appliqued them onto other pieces of fabric. That was the first time I've ever seen that, to cut the hat out. Did you yeah. come up with that? Yeah, I, because wow. she wanted. She asked me if I could use them, and I thought, well, <laughs> let me try. I've never done it, so let me try. I th and what is you this? Know, um, just it's just the front of the hat. I just cut it out and. Bar and this Harbor looks like a me. patch, like in Girl Scouts. We I had a thing. Yeah, I think that was on another hat, um, this, on, but I couldn't do the whole so thing. So this is terrific. You have um, t-shirts. Yeah, t-shirts, and then mm -hmm. this, these were flannel pajama bottoms that she uh, wanted. Were they to washed? Do. Yes, they oh, were. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, and also, and I, like she was, she was a big motorcycle lover, so we have motorcycles on here, and obviously followed the Yukon women's 
So we have that as part of it. So this is all t-shirts and bits of shirts and other clothing that were very special for her. I like the Mohican sun myself. Yes. Oh, yes. that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. How do you figure out the layout? Oh, on the floor. It was a mosaic. <laughs> Actually, I did it in three strips. I didn't have uh -huh. a plan in my head. I just kind of figured it out as I went um, because I had all different size pieces. So it wasn't like I had the same size piece from right, every single shirt. That. I only had bits and pieces of things. So it was like putting together a puzzle. So I would work on this part, and then I think, well, I need to have it this big, and then this piece would fit in and just worked on it little by little, laid it out on the floor until I got it to all fit. So you don't have a design wall? I do not, only because I don't have a space for a design you wall. You might want I to buy would, a new house. I would love to have a new house, and then yes, I would have a design okay, wall. Okay, because I mean, we do have okay, a priority. I'll work on that. Okay, good. I absolutely agree. <laughs> well, now, this, uh, yeah. now this I find very interesting, how you added, uh, this is fabric that you added or it came from something no, special? No, this was fabric that I had that I had to design. Just, I had to separate the design somehow. Right. Plus, I thought it would look better if I did that. Oh, so this is yeah. fantastic. Looks yeah. great. Yeah, it she does was look a big great. card player, which is why I use cards on the back. Oh, that's a cute idea. Yeah. Now, you have another memory quote. The other one here. is for a good friend of mine that this is um, in memory of her dad, who was uh, an army guy. He had been in World War II. And first of all, he always felt he had an angel on his shoulder, so he, angels were important to him, so I found angel fabric. But then this is bits of clothing from his shirts, his tie. I and, love okay. what you did with his yeah. tie. I'm just going to put this up on the monitor. Yeah. That is very, very special. With one of his stick pins in yeah, it. Yes, very you know, special. Nice. I tried to use the pockets from his shirts, so they just had the pockets. Wow. But what I noticed on the back, I noticed mm -hmm. over here on the back, this is even, let me just hold this up so that the camera gets it. What did okay. you do over here? Well, this is another, it's a flannel shirt pocket, and then inside here is the, of course it's pinned, sorry about, oh, buttoned. It is the mask card from his funeral. Oh, wow. That I knew that she would want. That's so I fantastic. was making sure that it would stay there. And so it has another one of the uh, uh, metal that he wore. I, that is incredibly. Yeah. Hand quilted? Uh, no, machine quilted. This looks and like I did a little bit of hand quilting on yeah. it here and there, but mostly machine quilted. So you Parts mix your hand army. quilting and machine quilting. I do that all the that's, time. Yeah, I think that's yes. great. Do you really? I yeah. do. I don't just stick one with the oh, other. you notice this. Yes. Yeah, the yes. hearts, yes. which yes. I had to put in the hearts that... You know, he's a very patriotic gentleman, being especially being a World War II veteran. Mm -hmm. That I'll take care of. That. Okay, um, that is that yeah. I think is extremely creative. Thank you. So when I say my guests today are creative and artistic, I'm right. <laughs> I'm just right. You know, oh, you talked about um, labeling, and it's always important to put a label on a quilt. Mm -hmm. So when I did this, I did so. This was for Rose in memory of her father, December 2006, Carmen Carano, and then I have his birth date, 928, mm -hmm. 1920, and 10:27, 2005. When he now this is away. just an example of a hundred quilts that will be at the quilt show. Right. Yes, we'll have the, at least a hundred talent some quilts. in the in yeah. the uh, organization is incredible. Incredible. You know, I'm really glad you said there. this is just an example. I mean, and we're lucky, I'm lucky enough because you're there, you're a quilt, to actually be able to spend time and looking at them. Mm -hmm. But I could do that at the quilt show. So if yes. you're, if you're, um, have any interest in, and what if you don't know how to quilt and you want to get into quilting? What is this show? This show has inspired you. It's something you always wanted to do. What could they do? Well, join the Quilt Guild. Join the Quilt Guild. <laughs> that would be, we meet every Monday, not every Monday, mon first Monday of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, meetings at 7, and it's open. Anybody can come in, whether you're a beginning quilter or a more experienced. And it doesn't matter the style, whether it's a traditional or a more modern, contemporary. Because there's all yeah, different styles. But there's styles. all different styles, all different. Mm -hmm. yeah. All different. Men and women. Men and women. I'm hoping yeah. a lot of men will come and join. Yeah. I'm oh, just we saying. Have men. Yes. Yeah, but I'm hoping yeah. more men come and join. <laughs> more involved. single men. <laughs> more sing okay, the cameraman is laughing. <laughs> more single men over 65. Yes. I just want to be a little uh. specific. So I'm just saying. Yes. But, yes, yes, um, yes. People are highly talented, and the oh, quilt yes. show will you can so you can see about a hundred quilts. Mm -hmm. You can see vintage quilts. Yeah. You can take a uh, a pop on the raffle right. quilt. Yeah. And we have There's raffle vendors baskets. coming, vendors. Mm -hmm. and um, you yeah. also if you don't want to wait until October. Join the guild. You could. First Monday at the Canoe Brook Center in Brantford. 
and we have wonderful speakers all the time. We what do. is the guild's website? Is shorelinequiltguild.com. Okay. And Mary, do you have any passing words, ending words for the show? Well, there are many offshoots uh, of the guild. Yeah. And I, uh, sometimes they meet at different days during the day and do community work yeah. together. Community services. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We do, um, we meet on Tuesdays at the uh, library in Northford. Uh, there's a group of us that'll meet. Sometimes we work on community things, you know, all different things. But just the excitement of seeing all the different types of quilting there are. I know you're very... Um, yeah, artistic. Artistic. Well, yes. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. I mean, we've seen yeah. your work. You were yeah. one of our speakers. Yes. yes. That yes. just taught us so much about um, yeah. artistic thread, quilting. Yeah. Thread painting. Yeah. Thread, thread painting. painting. I love it. Yeah. I love it. But I. But interestingly, I love all of this. Yes. As it doesn't. Do that's what's it, great. Yeah, that's, that's it what's doesn't great. matter that it's. I. I'm thinking. I want to do this, and I want to yes. go color, and I want to yes. do. I want. I want to do more than I can possibly do in my lifetime. Right. Sounds, but, sounds um, good. Yeah. But you're right yeah. about. <laughs> you're right about, and it's a nice well, way to get yourself out of the house and meet with interesting mm, people. Yeah. So if you want to go to the quilt show, just go to the Shoreline Quilt Guild. And you can learn more about it or on yep. the Facebook page. The Facebook page. Yeah. If you have questions, you can always contact me at jmdteach at comcast.net. And, and if nothing, join the guild. Please. And did I mention yes. men over 65 are particularly welcome? <laughs> I'm just saying. So, okay, maybe women okay. too. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. So, please come and, and give us a look. Thank you so much yep. for coming. Yep. Okay. Thank you.